Good morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for our parents, especially our mothers. We pray you will protect and guide mothers everywhere, that you will grant them your wisdom in loving and teaching their children. Thank you for the mothers who played with us, taught us, nurtured us, fed us, listened to us, and tried to understand us. Watch over every mother who is with child, strengthen her faith in your care and love for her and her unborn baby. Bless the women who care for children of others, and let all children under their care feel your love through them. Almighty God, we ask that you keep this coronavirus from continuing to spread. Give government officials the ability to handle people safely arriving from other countries. Help people decide to stay at home instead of traveling or going out needlessly. Holy Spirit, remind people to wash their hands properly. And while it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from elderly or other high-risk family members. Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. Be present now to people who need your loving touch because of COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of doctors and nurses. Take away the fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine. God, as more people get sick, healthcare workers and first responders are working longer hours with fewer supplies and with more risk of contracting the coronavirus themselves. Renew their energy and sustain them on long shifts. Bring your protection upon them as they work with patients. Inspire and invigorate the research doctors developing better tests to create vaccines to prevent it and identify protocols to eliminate the disease's spread. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Be with people making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, communities, countries, and this wider world. We pray that they communicate clearly, truthfully, and calmly with each other and the public, and that their messages are received and heeded. May the truth and empathy be the touchstones of people setting policies for our protection. Holy Spirit, as families adjust to everyone being home, as businesses and schools are closed, we ask that you guide people in this new reality. Give spouses grace for each other. Prompt worn out parents to seek words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created and continue learning. Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness in how you have guided and equipped people in their jobs and have provided in the past. It can be scary and overwhelming not knowing how bills and obligations will be met or not able to provide for their families. As people feel financial strain during this uncertainty, bring them comfort and peace, reminding them that you are there for them. Provide for them in this time of need. Lord, we are so grateful for all the people who continue to work each day so that everyone is able to eat. We ask that you bless and protect them as they serve. Give them the grace to handle disgruntled customers during supply shortages. Keep their bodies healthy as they unload and stock boxes. Keep their cars and trucks running smoothly as they deliver items and food people have ordered online. And please protect them all from correct contracting the coronavirus. Finally, Jesus, we lift up to you those who aren't directly affected by the coronavirus, but still have needs. We pray for our custodian Margie, whose husband Richard has been diagnosed with terminal cancer and only has a few months to live. We continue to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.